Welcome back to Mornings with Luann and Tim. I've had a ski injury. I've been going down the hill and now I'm lying on the slopes and I'm injured and I need help. Help, Canadian Ski Patrol. Oh, look, who's here? I'm Jeff from the Canadian Ski Patrol and I'm trained in first aid. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Okay, and this is Ken. He's also trained. You're the president. Good morning, I'm the president. Boy, you, get good, you get good service from Canadian Ski Patrol here. You get the president and you get the safety officer. That's correct. Absolutely. Guys, what's happened? Something has happened and I feel like I might have broken my ankle or sprained something. I'm injured. So we're going to I'm take, lying on a ski hill. We're going to take your boot off and check that ankle, okay? Oh, boy. And we're going to do it How, in a way. This could hurt. That we're gonna make sure that we keep your ankle real steady. So you watch how we do it. Okay. First here. of all, I don't like the fact that you're wearing those gloves because it reminds me of a different kind of medical. Do you want to sit up so you can watch what we do? <laughs> oh, okay. All yeah, right. Hi. Oh, hi. Yeah. Thank you. You got injured ankle. Okay. okay. Yes. I got the Cause leg. Because ski are tight, right? Yes, <sighs> they are. Hey, I've got your leg Look nice you. and steady. You're holding my leg, and Ken is unfolding it. Are you ready? Yep. We're okay. Just take this off. Ready, One, Jeff? two, three, go. And I've got your just ankle, like that. just like that, right? I can check it. No injuries. Your How foot's do you good. know that? Can You're you trained. wiggle your toes? I can wiggle my yeah, toes. Yeah, can you feel that? Yes, and I can feel gonna, all that. Well, then looks like we're good to go. Oh, I'm not as bad as I thought. Okay, wait a second. How do you know all this stuff, Jeff? You're trained. I'm getting off the table now. You're trained uh, where? Who trains you guys? What we president have has our oh, here, have a chair. own training. It's a... National uh, program we follow. Yes. Uh, we have one training officer, number of instructors. You slide to the middle now, Jeff. You go okay. there and I'll go here. All right. Oh, okay. So, where do you do your training? Locally or do you go we away? We do it locally. Uh, new recruits have to go through 60 hours. That's a lot. That is a lot. It's a big commitment. 60 hours of advanced first aid training. A advanced. Yeah. Uh, sorry, and, and uh, that's done locally? That's done locally here in town, yes. Yeah. Who yeah, trains you? We have our own instructors that okay. are certified through the Canadian Ski Patrol. Yeah. Are you yes. one of them? Ken and I are both. Yes, you teach both the courses? Them. Yes. Yes, along with the uh, four instructors. You have to teach 60 hours of classes, you guys? Well, when you spread out amongst all the patrollers or the examiners. How many of you are there on the Canadian? Because it's Sault Ste. Marie, how does it said? Canadian Ski Patrol, Sault Ste. Ste. Marie, Marie zone. zone. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. How many of you work in the, our zone? We have uh, 38 now this uh, Are you kidding season. me? We had a wonderful recruit class. We brought in 15 new uh, patrollers this year, yep. so our numbers have really gone up. Across Canada, there's about 4,500 servicing 200 resorts. Are you all volunteers? We're all we volunteers. Are. Yep. So nice of you. Okay, so and we're always looking for more help. Yes. So when you're ready, when I'm ready to be, to be a to give, do my 60 hours of training. That's right. Absolutely. Do I have to be able to ski to be a part of the ski patrol? That you need to be able to do. I can uh, do that. If actually. you're going to want to patrol, I'm actually a pretty good skier. Yes, you on are. The slopes and on the trails. Uh, if a person uh, wants to be a member of our organization but not patrol, we do patrol uh, Greyhound Games at the GFL Center. We do all the uh, events. At Rotary GFL. Fest, uh, yeah. Hiawatha, Ski Relay Pat for Our Life. We do the uh, Fall Rendezvous at Ermatinger. We year round, Christmas. you guys. We're a year round year organization round. now. Yeah. If you're a cross country skier, we, you'll see us at Hiawatha. So, yep. how do you do it? Do you have a schedule that you make up and you make sure that somebody is there kind of thing all the People time or do you rostered. get called in or how does it work? People are rostered. We have to have a number of patrollers uh, out at uh, Searchmont uh, each weekend. Uh, during the week, they have a couple of our members that are paid staff to do the patrolling there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and now, also, this is a helmet, obviously, a ski yeah. helmet. Is it a particular kind of helmet for skiing? Are there certain grades, certain things well, you have to look for? It, it will be a certified approved helmet. Certified approved. And, uh, and uh, it's for safety. It's and is it, you safe. is it fitting almost like, I'm, I know the rules for bicycle helmets. Is it like two? Yeah. If you fit it two fingers above the eyebrows. Two fingers above here. the eyebrow. And then when you do your strap up, you should get one finger in. Is that right? That's correct. Same so thing, that's yes. the same as a bicycle, I believe, yes. bicycle yep. helmet. Yep. Same kind of rules. Yes. Okay. It, this is very comfortable. This and is very light. That's going to say, that's you know, some of that, the ice on those ski hills, you could get a, some serious head injuries that's from right. those ice, from hitting the ice. If you smack your head on the ice, right? Oh, that was right. You hit on the ice. Uh, 
Skiing into a, a tree, going, perhaps, or people yeah. have died skiing into trees, you guys. So you got to so wear this it's a helmet. Very important That's piece of safety equipment. Absolutely. What are these? You bought us some things, codes. What? Yeah, we're we're big on safety too. We want to make sure you you we prevent as many injuries as possible. Not just treat them, but prevent them. So so, so the so what yeah. you would call that? You would call that um, upstream education. Yeah. Teach them before they get hurt. That's good. Absolutely. That's right. Because exactly. basically, we're well, laser. Uh, no. We don't want to have to work. Yeah. No. We will when we have to. No, you'd but rather people rather be, safe. be safe. Yeah, you'd exactly. rather be safe. You just wave at them as they go yeah. by rather than help yeah. them. Yeah. So, yeah. so we have our Alpine responsibility code and okay. we have our cross country responsibility code. For right? two different kinds of skiing, Alpine That's and right. cross country. And basically the same what thing. Kinds of you know, tips watch out for other skiers, make sure that the uh, uh, you give other skiers enough room to get by you if they're faster skiers than you. Um, also, uh, you know, make sure that if the trail is marked closed, it's closed for a Ooh, reason. Absolutely. Don't go in there. Right? right? Yes. Yeah. People, sometimes people go on those trails and they'll get lost or, or like they'll get stuck, get stuck or something like that. And no one like knows that. they're there because it's supposed to be closed. Right, exactly. Yeah. Don't do that. No, don't. <laughs> okay. We, we go in to find them. What about cross country? What kind of safety stuff? Because I would think that cross country is a pretty, you know, it's a safer environment because there's less speed involved, there's less slope involved. But there can, you can still have injuries? Well, oh, absolutely. If you're a cross-country skier like me, they always put a corner at the bottom of a slope. And uh, I have a heck of a time going around in the corners. You're a big fella. <laughs> yeah, so we tell people, you know, uh, ski within your ability. And if you yes. want to improve, take a lesson uh, to learn new techniques for dealing with difficult terrain. And uh, wear clothing that's suitable for the weather as well. Remember, in cross-country, you're going to heat up a lot. and You're going to get warm. So uh. wear dress in layers. The yeah, other thing about cross country is if you're not go, I mean, if you're not at Hiawatha or whatever, if you're skiing out at your cottage, or make sure you tell somebody where you're going yes, and when exactly. to expect you back, right? Exactly. Absolutely. I had that happen to me. I was out at Point of Par, yeah, and I grew up out there, yeah. So I know Point of Par, and I was skiing, but I went. I was uh, coming out of the woods towards Marks Bay. And a blizzard came, you guys. I'm not kidding you. I didn't know where I was in the middle of Marks Bay, and the snow got so bad. I didn't know where the land, where yeah. my, which direction to go in. I was terrified, and then I didn't get back. I was staying with Sue. I didn't get back till like seven o'clock at night. I yes, was, my God. But they didn't know I was gone. I didn't tell anybody I was gone. Stupid. So don't do that either. Make sure you tell somebody. Yeah, that's right. And stay hydrated. Yes. Drink, drink water. Drink your juice. Drink your Gatorade. Stay hydrated. Um, so, if somebody wants to get involved, do you have a website or something, or how does somebody get more information? They can go to our national website, would be uh, skipetrol.ca. Uh, from there, you would find a link uh, called Join Us. Yes. Uh, which would then uh, send me a, uh, a notice that someone's interested in joining. We'll reply as to when, where, and how. Our training for the year has just concluded. Okay. But if someone was interested, say, for next season, uh, go to the website. It'll send me a link, uh, a message, and I'll let our recruitment officer know to contact you next summer, uh, and I will be in touch with you right away. Thanks, Ken Pister. And if somebody, what if an organization wants to have you at an event? Same deal, they contact you and say, we're Absolutely, having this event, we want some safety there. Yep. Yes. So there you go, that's somebody else to consider, the Canadian Ski Patrol Sault Ste. Marie Zone. Yes. I had one other question. If I'm injured on a ski hill, what should I do? Is there a, a, a do you have, is there a protocol to call for help? If or? you fall down, get injured, people are going to notice and yeah. they're going to come looking for the ski patrol. So if you see somebody lifting. injured, go over and get tell them to stay put Absolutely. and they'll get the ski and patrol. They'll get the ski patrol. Contact you shouldn't us probably and we touch will be somebody, there. right? Just stay and with them stay and comfort put, them. Don't move. Don't Let move us come them. in. Let us evaluate them first. The, the staff will contact us by radio and we'll be there. Thanks for being here. I'll see you Thank on the you. slopes. Thank you for having sure us. Will. I right. see you on the slopes. Ski safe. Ski safe. And maybe at the GFL too. You'll see these shirts. At the GFL at the and the Greyhound Games. That's right. Absolutely. There you go. Support these guys. We'll be back with more. Morning for the Lennon Tim right after this. I'm ready. Let's go.